now recording. By the way, uh, Craig, let, I need to I need to ask you a very nice favor. Whenever we do these kinds of recordings from now on, would you please stop making me sound like a Sasquatch? Because I've been noticing that for a couple of recordings now. And it's starting to make me look bad. I make no promises. I was under the assumption it made you sound more mature. No, I just sound like a Sasquatch. So do your damn job. <laughs> So, I was more so in the mood to do a Mickey Mouse game, but we don't have quite the right, right number of people to do said Mickey Mouse game, so Hype insisted we do a Bugs Bunny game instead, and so, well, here we are. Woohoo! I mean, I figured it makes sense. I mean, we did a look at the first game, like, ages ago, so I figured it's about time we give its sort of sequel a bit of love. Welcome to us playing... Oh, okay. Okay, now welcome to us playing Bugs Bunny and Taz and Time Busters for the PlayStation 1. Hey. And I'm here too. Yep, a game that I mean, honestly, up until recent memory, I barely knew much of anything of. Like, I was always aware of the existence of the first game, Lost in Time, but this game kind of just fell under the radar. Mm -hmm. At least as far as I'm concerned. Okay. Also, just as a bit of a heads up, yes, there is multiplayer, and we're gonna show off a bit of that. Just as a heads up, if I seem a bit squirrely in this. Parsec's kind of going through a bit of a weird phase where it's not my controller and the connection's fine. I mean, otherwise this wouldn't be running as buttery smooth as it is on my end. It seems to be messing up my input delays, so if you see me acting a little bit, for lack of a better word, loony in terms of getting around, that's why. Can I just say real quick, starting off, uh, is this me or is Gaffy going through a bit of a chipmunk cheek phase? <laughs> oh god! His face! It's the perfect time for the game to just, What's going on here? And why is, why is Granny now evil overlord? Zod? Well, she's not an evil overlord, so just to give you a bit of a synopsis on the plot here. Uh, Granny apparently owns this time device because apparently she's a doctor in this universe. She's a and apparently it's a little bit on the bonker side because of some rats. And Daffy here is an exterminator that she hired to take care of them. She owns the Emerald Eye. Also, please excuse my outfit. It. it was a wedding gift from my husband, Marvin the Martian. I mean, it looks ridiculous and it does look like a Martian. I thought you were going to continue off. Oh, there's one of the mics now. I think oh. that's a um, Dewey. No, not Dewey. Yeah. Smack it. Oh, yeah, that's the blue one. That's the that's the intelligent one. That's supposed to yeah. Be. I don't know. The, the, the one that has the suave announcer voice in Space Jam. Yes. So what do we do? Okay, he's gonna try to get it. Oops. Uh oh. You know, in hindsight, I didn't quite think this plan through. In any other, in you know, in any other cartoon, Daffy would literally be on cloud nine at the moment. Oh wait. No, yeah, I guess he, he doesn't matter because he's oh, pretty much on, on cloud ninety nine. Jeez. Yeah. So now what do we do? Cloud ninety nine, the aggressive version of cloud nine. However, so. um, we can't talk over it, but apparently there was someone there that owns that trip. But yeah, after that little catastrophe, the th the time thing exploded, sending all its gears everywhere, including oh in Bugs' God. hole. Oh. Down here, you know. Right on his Get head. Out of hey, uh, Get me. that out of here. Oh, it looks like... Look at that, time's out of whack. Oh, yeah, all these, all these people are out of time and just exploring the world. Did you ever have one of those I mean, it's not the worst thing. Meanwhile, a Tasmanian devil's on the loose. Me, He's not from a different time, though. No, he's not. There's actually a, a somewhat humorous explanation as to why he's here, but I'll wait a bit. I mean, I could also... Hello, I, I, well, yes. I got something for you in the recording chat. Oop. Oop. Hello. Uh, not gonna even, not gonna even just find that with a response. So, we meet the space granny. Mm -hmm. Granny the Martian. Come with me. Listen, lady, I'd love to help you, but... I'd just like to say right now that I have had no intimate relations with that Earth woman. <laughs> Those reports were greatly exaggerated. <laughs> and I dare say the tabloids will be hearing of strongly one letter. Incidentally, I don't even know what a tabloid is. Incidentally, I don't even know what a grandmother is. Now, where's my explosive space modulator? 
So yeah, the, kind of not dissimilar to how Bugs was kind of roped into finding these MacGuffins in the first game. He's kind of roped into helping Granny find the missing gears for her time machine so that they can get things back into order. Okay. Yeah, the, the gears are basically like this game's equivalent of the times. Uh, the, 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 what I'm trying to say. The first game. Yeah. Okay. Right, because I keep forgetting this is a sequel with a completely different name. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say we? <laughs> yes. Wouldn't that be some shit if Granny was the second to join Bugs instead of Taz? Right? Which made just a little upset. Oh. Unfortunately, I must stay here huh. to stabilize the time regulator as best as I can. But don't worry. Oh, yeah, I should ask real quick. I'm, um, You guys can hear the audio okay, right? Yeah, I can. Yes, perfectly. Yeah, ready. Also, yeah, that's the explanation as to why Taz is here. He's apparently Granny's pet. I mean, okay. I'd I mean, I mean, I, I ra I'd rather him than Dossimer. Aw, uh, Jim, stop being so adorable. Yeah. Because, I mean, Do Dossimer started out... Goss, sorry, not Dossimer. Gossamer. It's fine. I'd rather Taz than Gossamer, because Gossamer was someone's pet at some point, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, he was the mad doc. He was, I think he was an assistant to two different doctors. One of them that was a straight up Peter Lorre impressionist. And the other you might have seen in a few instances is that, you know, big headed green guy that ended up being the antagonist in a Looney Tunes game that I'm not too crazy about. And I'm actually kind of, you know what? I, I mentioned it a few times. It's Acme Arsenal, by the way. I'm kind of huh. curious as to how that works via emulation because I wouldn't mind showing off that garbage sometimes. So wait, so so Peter Lawrence is the guy who was very made famous for this voice. Yeah, Peter. Peter Lawrence? Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, no, not Peter Lawrence. I'm thinking of um, I'm, I'm I'm blanking on his name, but you guys still know who I'm talking about, right? Yeah. I mean, I, I I know him from that, and I know him that Rob Williams did an impression of him like that. I can't bring people bring back, people back the from the dead. Yeah, that. It's not a pretty oh, picture. I don't like doing it. Anyway. Also, basically, what engine's partially based on, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's yeah. a classic. It, 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 uh, whoever he is, I'm assuming he played the original Igor. Actually, no. No, he didn't. Interesting enough, that voice is actually a completely character. People just gave it to Igor for some reason. Well, I mean, because, like, that's. That, that was, like. Not to like this, being Dracula, like that was that was the oh, voice that you imagined I'm Igor had at all times. Yeah, but that wasn't the voice that Igor did have. In fact, fun fact: the original Igor wasn't even called Igor. His name was Fritz. Well, Fritz doesn't sound quite as marketable. That would actually that would actually explain an awful lot, considering uh, Brain Dead Thirteen exists. That's right. That, yeah. that's right. And the Igor character in that was named Fritz. It's yep, also that's possible right. to huh. change the camera control Neat. by using this. But no, um I guess then then I I wonder where Igor started. It couldn't have been Young Frankenstein because other things came out before that. Oh yeah, gameplay. So yeah, uh, currently I'm in, I'm the one in control of bugs and uh hype is in control of the level to Tasmanian devil. Otherwise to the best of my abilities. So as far as gameplay controls, uh, they do have their slight differences. Bugs, for the most part, plays pretty much similarly to how he does in Lost in Time. Uh, Taz, however, has a few differences. He does a spin instead of a regular kick, and mm -hmm. between the two of them, he's now the one that can be able to lift objects or heavy objects mm -hmm. like those boxes. All right, Tweety boy, we'll, we'll come over to you. Can you help us out with this not Elmer-looking guy? Jump on this yes, guy's please. To stop him. And also, and for the rest of us, enjoy watching what happens when you take early PlayStation graphics and try no, to have non, uh, to, try to have 3D platforming multiplayer without split screen. Yeah, that is kind of a bit of an. It, I, I, uh, you might want to. Okay, so in instances like this, uh, I want to press the L1 button in order to zip right, right back to me. There you go. Hey. Well, we got our first gear. Get out of here. Oh, that wasn't very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Kick him. Oh, shut up, fatso. Well, that's rude. We'll be get. Don't worry. Now that now that I see the two of those interact, that also reminds me of that one Dreamcast uh, Toonie game we're gonna have to get to at some point. When he stops, let him have it. Good luck. Okay. Oh, brother, how do I get myself into these things? What game? The 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 cartoony Dreamcast game. Okay, so basically with these big guys... Oh, 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 uh, 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 uh Floygan Brothers. Yeah. I got. I'll be fun. Okay, we have to get him a few more times, because, you know, he's a big guy. <laughs> Look at him go. All right, back. Sorry about Hello. that. Welcome back. You're not missing much. We're we're just showing off combat in this game. 
kick them. Ah, oh. shut up. I would have loved if he kicked them a la Sheila to my Wait. Hey. Oh. Oh. What just happened? Oh, hello. Uh, you oh, have so to Kai just... Oh, oh, after this cutscene. <laughs> Don't worry. When this for a PS1 game, this actually has a lot of dialogue. Like this and... Did they get the original? Did they, did they get the original voice actors and stuff for this? Yeah. Well, the actors that were still alive at this point, because you know, Billy West does return his bugs like he does in uh, Lost in Time. Same with uh, Granny, the main great June Foray. Jim Cummings is Taz, as we brought up. Mm -hmm. By the way, is it bad? Is it a bad time now to say that the only Looney Two game I have ever played was uh, Taz Most Wanted? Uh, Taz uh, Wanted? That's, that's not Taz a bad game. Wanted. No, that's a pretty classic one. Uh, for me, the... in fact, fun fun fact: my sister and I found our old, old original Xbox that we have made in, I want to say, nearly 15, 16 okay. I, years, I and. Uh -huh. it, yeah, in 15, 16 years, the last game that was in it. Actually, wait, I remember. Taz. Taz was one. First, and I have yeah. to. Yeah. Nope. For me, oh, unfortunately, it was it was a busted game. It didn't work. Oh, for that's me, a shame. For me, the uh, the main Looney Tunes game I owned was a Space Race. Oh, okay. Space Race? Oh, that's the called... Dreamcast one, right? Space Ace! No, it was also on PlayStation 2. And, uh, but yeah, it's the one So, where uh, it's... what are we supposed to be doing here, Hype? Um, yeah, we're know. supposed to push these boxes, and then the smaller boxes go on top of them. Oh, they can stick. Okay. And then... Uh, is so there like, this, is pretty much, this is pretty much all of you, because I can't do anything to these boxes. Is there a friendly <laughs> fire in this game? There technically is, if we attack each other. Funny you should mention that. Come here, come over here, you cute little devil. Hey. Ow. Oh, no. Why did I but technically, you can get yourself back just as easily. Now I'm trying to find the box that I dropped. The other thing I was going to ask right, was... Over here. The other thing I was going to ask was, uh, is there, uh, say we did not have two players, is it still possible to play this game? Like, how would you swap control for things like this? Oh, yeah, yeah, you can still play this game solo. And you would have to, yeah, you would have to swap between, uh, both characters uh, and, uh... Gotcha. I tried to double jump to it. Oh. I, I think it's right above you. By the way, I did this joke before we started recording, but the, uh... <laughs> The that one uh, green. Yeah, this one, I might as well talk to the Tweety Boy. Never yes. mind. Hey, we use it. No, no, go ahead, man. Uh, that one green guy running around looked like a yodeling Elm Fudd, so I have to do this. <clears throat> Yodele, he ha. Oh, ahead. that's what. Okay, that's the thing we have to do. We have to not only push the blocks in the way. I have to put the little block in front of the big one, so that way we can it use that seems, as a stepping stone. It seems you two are idiots, so let me hell tell you how to do it. <laughs> Granny just does this like for God's sake, and just grabs it herself. You know, I do just. I'm pretty sure Bugs was able to lift the lift those little crates. Not fairly all right with in the first game. What? What? what he's just suddenly lost some of his uh, cartoonish muscle. He lost his mojo. Well, we had to give Taz some justification. That's fair. That's completely fair. Uh, you doing over there? Care with it, Tazzy boy? He looks so stern. Like I would love if, after all that, like spitting and hawking, he's like, you know, care with it, Taz. And Taz just goes, "Don't interrupt me while I'm working." <laughs> that does remind me of like some jokes that they do that like that in the Taz shorts. Like I think one of my favorites is still. There's an instance where Bugs tries to bury him. Uh, oh, would you mind going around? Because I don't think there's like oh, the wrist camera control. Okay. Oh, there yeah. you go. Oh yeah, it should be said that currently, I, I, um, Granny said that whoever holds the quote-unquote magic mirror has control over the camera. Though if I ever oh. want to, like so, I can press the R1 button and swap, swap it over to Taz. That's so now he, ha now, now Hype has control over the camera. That's a pretty interesting way it's, to uh, work with Taz. new controls. And, uh oh, I know he's a simple beast, but how? <laughs> okay, Taz, you have one job. Let's try. Okay, the... let's try going for a different gear. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Just give up on that, I guess. Taz, come back to this one later. But uh, I was gonna say, what were some of the, what were some of your things from the Taz shorts uh, hype? Well, there's one instance where it's like uh, where Bugs is tricking Taz into digging for this one animal to eat. He ends up burying him, and then once after he buries him, you just like see Taz tap on his shoulder. Then he just turns around and then he goes, "Why for you bury me in the cold, cold ground?" <laughs> just so eloquently and innocently put. Like, why did he do this? Or you can jump to release it. I don't know why that would that would act that would get me to laugh. Oh, it's climbing. To have. Hey. Uh, I mean, I'm uh, 
But no, I'm saying, I'm saying that would get me to laugh to see him so wide in the cold, cold ground. I wonder if I can play this. Got it. There do you go. Do you find me lower than dirt? If so, I do not appreciate this cut, this critique. There's a joke to you. Whoa. Okay, I guess only bust him up the tree because I tried hopping on and nothing. Yeah, happened. Granny did say that, that tree climbing is strictly strictly a bunny thing. Taz yeah, that's would, the thing that I feel like I Taz I feel like Taz would rather eat the tree than climb. Yeah, he, he totally did. Would. He did at one point, like when he's trying to get bugs who climbed up a tree, he lowered the tree by actually chomping onto the bark until the tree lowered oh, that's, itself. That's that's um, access to a level we can't get to yet. Aww. Do, 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 do. All right, so let's see what this one's all about. I think this By is the way, folks, double should, jumping. It should be said, ladies and gentlemen, we're probably just going to be sticking to uh, this tutorial level for the look at because you know, it's sort of, it's kind of a lengthy process as it is, just trying to figure out how this game works. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I feel like you know, issues with my Discord notwithstanding. Okay, I was going to say issues with my uh, Parsec notwithstanding. This game actually isn't that hard to get accustomed to. It's just a matter of I guess we just picked a really bad time to do this. I guess so. It, it should. It, I, I mean, yeah, there's a lot going on right now. But uh, uh, Matt, were there any other Looney Tunes games that you've seen that you've always been curious to try? Honestly, not really. Um, I mean, I, don't I, know I, why. I, I, I think it's been immediately obvious before. I like my, most of Looney Tunes game experience I've had is primarily through the back in action game for GameCube. Yeah. No, for, no, so for me, it's back in action. For me, it was just. Taz, that is the only game that, sorry, um, you, man. both my- Are you guys hearing me? Yeah, we can yeah, hear you. Yeah, we hear you. I, I just, I was saying something, I realized, oh crap, oh. I actually Ooh. was talking while you were talking, so I wanted to let you, I wanted to get back in the uh. Okay, so, literally, we get it, Tweety, we get it. <laughs> Thank you, you This little piggy went to market. This little shut up. No, um, your games, but yes. But yeah, the not really, honestly. Like the only, the only one I really had interest in, even as a kid, was the Taz Wanted. I think it's a great game. I thought it was fantastic as a kid. Mm -hmm. I haven't played it years later. I don't know if it's still good. I think but that's the only one I. That is the only one I. Uh, by the way, by the way, that that hammer is inaccurate. Bugs picks it up. It should go. Thank you. Now I have control over the camera. Okay, my bad. And also, just going back to suggestions, I think. Oh, oh, I guess I can't, I can't, I can't oh, take, you know, it to, take it to the target. Know, yeah, you know, I think it's situational for this area. Quick. For this area you're in, I think it's situational. You have to, like, whack these moles. Oh! That was weird. Wait, does that, does that, ow! Wait a minute, did that hurt you? It yes. did. Remember, so we I established their friendly fire. Yeah. Well, no, no, the hammer, I mean. Yeah, oh, no, yeah, I, think I, I think I know what to do. Oh, oh. Okay, never mind, it does hurt you. My bad. Oh, it does, but I think I, I think I know what we can do. Try that again. Okay. Uh, okay. Go for it. Okay, it's uh, time. I a, thought I could burn area, underneath yeah, yeah. the platform. So what's even the point of this? I don't know. What's the I'm pretty area? sure you're it's supposed to be able to like hit that. Oh. oh, well, there it is. That's yeah. what I meant to do. You My get bad. A rock. You get a, what do we do with the rock? <laughs> Should it, I, did we forget to mention, ladies and gentlemen, this is sort of a semi-blind run? Yes. You get to watch it. <laughs> well. That Where'd was a blind shot, but you just <laughs> it just can't can you boy saw that it just fades through the ice. So yeah, it, it seems so it seems more like a, it seems like an interesting co-op puzzle game, I guess. Well, I'd assume so, considering you do essentially try putting it on there instead. Nope. There's gotta be a got trick a shot this. I think you do got a shot to put it. Oh you know what? I think you have to stand on the arrow. You know what? You might be right. And then Oh, it's like golf. Up. Yeah, I mean, you have to get the rock, stand on the arrow, and then chuck it. All right, well, let's try that. And wow. We'll take just... the camera around. All right. Oh! Oh! oh. Now you shot put it. Yoink! Hooray! We discovered the magic. We I... discovered the magic of target practice. You know, I feel like... How many gears are there in this game? Um, in this tutorial, I think maybe ten. You know what? I, I'm gonna call it right now. I think this is probably the Game Grumps video we've ever done. Okay. I, I honestly, oh, yeah, yeah this, it feels like that because we've, we've reached them. We've done it. 
This is it. This is the so, uh, should we just, come on, Taz. You're going to finish what you started. <laughs> jump on the block. Can, ta can Taz not jump? He can jump, just not as high as bugs. Like so. He can jump on the block. That's what I'm trying to do. Um, Drop the block, move out of the way. Because so what, what I'm trying to do is I have to take one of the Open the door, get on the floor, on. everybody do the dinosaur. Because the thing yeah, I'm trying to do is I have to get the smaller block and put it on top of the bigger blocks so we can be able to reach it. Yes, yeah, so I'm saying put, get that now. Can you jump onto a block while holding the smaller block? You can, it's just a matter of if Parsec, Parsec will let me. That's it, now you just jump on the smaller block. Well, wait, wait, are you saying that Parsec is blocking you? Yeah. Uh, ah, come on! Oh, you were close. <laughs> yeah, I know, just... Close, but no cigar, Tazzy! No thanks, I'm trying to quit. <laughs> Tez, I never knew you actually took this stuff. Up, 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 up. I was only joking. Do, 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 do. I was trying to be your friend, Tess. Who voices Tess now? Hey, Tess, <laughs> you're not taking that thing home. <laughs> I wasn't trying to. Uh, to answer your question, Logan, I think Jim still voices him every now and then. Although in the new Looney Tunes shorts that are coming out soon, Devil Damp, and the new Looney Tunes shorts that are coming out soon, I think Fred Tetsior is going to voice him. Okay. Oh, cool. wait. Wait a minute. For the new shorts? I, I thought it was confirmed that every Looney Tune for the new shorts is going to be Eric Baza. Um, for those, only a handful of them. I know Bob Bergen's still going to be Porky, because oh, God forbid... I, I God say, d despite who it is, Fred Tatsior, Fr uh, Frank Welker, D. Bradley Baker, and, uh, M. Bowser, <laughs> Eric Bowser, all are just the go-to, all right, we need a crazy animal <laughs> voice person. Get one of yes. these four. Pretty much, and also, I, I know it's probably parsing messing up for you, but there's something so entertaining about about the grumpy look Taz has as he's carrying a box and just meandering around and like. Okay, and, honestly, like, at this point, I, honestly, at this point, I'm not even furious about Parsec. I think this is genuinely funny now. Because <laughs> he has a Man. weird little. Wait, does bug? Is there a taunt button in this game for bugs to like? I don't think there is. No. Because he just, just, just tiptoe like this and use my <laughs> use my ears as a helicopter. What am I watching? Taz trying to work a hard day's work, and Bugs generally being a nuisance to him. Where is he going? Well, t well Taz, it looks like you're just a dumbass. Why okay. does... Do not why take does... this video too personally. This actually isn't that bad of a game. We just picked a really bad day to record this. Why does Taz... I love how Taz walks around with such, like, bad... He walks around with such mean intent, even when he's just his idle walking. He's... Okay, oh. Okay, just Taz. <laughs> Tap and tap. And Bugs like, that ain't gonna do it, Doc. Come on, Tazzy, you can do it. <laughs> okay, no, I, I got an idea. Put that block in between these two blocks, right? So. Yeah, yeah, you'll sandwich it. And then, and then use that other block right here. And then take this other block right here and use this one as the platform. Perfect. Okay, so don't put it on your. No, Taz, not on your head, on the floor. Now get the rock. The lid. <laughs> the lid. The <laughs> lid. The lid, Doc. The lid. Okay. Almost got it. Come on. Now tap. One more jump. And tap. And the second you jump, stop holding left. Jeez. Come on. I'm, also, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna you call. Jump it with the, your legs, Tazzy boy. Your legs. <laughs> okay. Okay. In all fairness, though, you kind of over overcompensated there. Take it. Take it slow. Take it steady. And I'm calling it now. As much as I do want to learn more about this game, as soon as we get this gear, we gotta call it. But yeah, this is very, sure we're gonna have to but call this it. is very entertaining to me for various reasons. Again, Gal <laughs> why is he still Taz, you have to ascend. Okay. Almost. Now you gotta ascend and move. And when you begin moving, stop. So you may ascend again. And you know what I just realized? Okay. Oh, 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 oh devil oh. damn it. And you know what I just realized? What? After we after we learned after we finished lesson number one and lesson number two, which was lesson one was putting the block down and lesson two was jumping. Then when we get on top of there, we have to combine the two lessons to have height, then make a jump. Okay, no, no, oh, 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 you had it, you had I thought it. I thought I was, okay, I you had it, yeah. I thought I, I thought it would land on the edge of the block. Taz, I am disappointing you. I, I am shocked that you would, you would take, you would, you would fail so hard okay, on. at one job. <laughs> we, we have, hold on. 
Guys, we have the Logan laughing fit. Yay! <laughs> you know what? I'll say, hey! Dude! Is it I'm wasting, to... wasting my freaking okay. time? I'm sorry. I'm trying to get the box. I, I, I know. I'm sorry. Then <laughs> you look crazy. You're crazy. And now, and, now, and now, as we play the freaking crazy Japanese dog, Looney. And after we play, and as we You're play fired. the Japanese, and as we play the Yakety Sack. Oh wait, sack, it's oh. I guess oh, I can, can swim. Okay, so boy can't swim. <laughs> and as we play the Yakety Sax theme. That's all, folks. Yep. <laughs> you know what? Unlike you know Game what? Grumps, <laughs> I can, uh, unlike Game Grumps, I can at least own up to when it's my fault and not the game's. I, <laughs> apo I apologize, but please, at the end of this, put the merry-go-round fell down, please. <laughs> I was gonna say yuckety sex for that, but oh my gosh. Okay, thank you guys for joining. Again, we promise. This does look fun, and honestly, if we learn about it, I would not mind even trying to commentary of, depending on how long the game is. It looks like an interesting way to like have a lot of fun. If that, if this first part is indicative of that. Just going off from what I've seen, though, I think it's roughly the same length as uh, I think it's roughly the same length as Lost in Time. However, I think it also has one thing. It has is that it's a little bit more repetitive than Lost in Time is. Aww. That sucks. But hey, look at this demo. That looks cool. Whoa, you got a little banjo roll. Yeah, apparently Bugs can literally use himself as a bowling ball. Who'd have oh, thought? And this is okay, and that's... Oh, actually, real quick. Oh, Arne, I, I missed it by, by the way. When I, am I the only one who thinks that looks like teeth, the wall? Because every time I see it, I just want to hear... I can kind of see that. Okay. <laughs> On that note, folks, take care, and... Uh... Yeah, da, 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 da. It's off, folks. Time to go home. Piss hate perfect. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys.